esports. You can see that the confidence seeking through their gameplay. You know, the way how Yao engage, even through draft. Now, banning three assassins is not something you see at all on an M4 stage. This is a very, very respect and targeted ban, a draft, draft style, I should say, towards Onigen, though. Absolutely, and that's what we should expect at the highest level here. Everybody is going to be playing a tip-top shape. Harith ban, a Mon ban coming in from Echo. I feel like we're being left out of the loop here. Echo knows something that we, we don't. don't. It must be scrims. Must be scrims. Must be when they practice their minds out, probably. <laughs> yes, when they practice their minds out. I mean, what can and we say? Hanzo. It's Hanzo time. Is, is it? Dead. Honestly, it might actually be the way if we didn't see Frederick already locked in coming in from Echo, but Martis as well gets banned out. Let's see. It could be Mar It could be Hanzo coming in from Kyrie, the god of assassins at this stage of M4. Well, at this point, right, I'm even surprised with the, uh, the Leslie ban. Right, I mean, it's taken out here. Again, the, the previous game, I feel like, wasn't the most fair performance for it, right? I, we haven't seen it a handful of times, just like the other marksmen on the table. But still, I think if you're going to see something like... That sounded like the... Okay, the joy. Yep. A, a hero highly contested, whether it's picked or banned. But this time... This is this a this is a jungle joy. Uh, oh it, well, it can or cannot, right? Joy, again, it's still flax, and being in the second pick give you a lot of options, right? You still can flax right now. It can still go into mid, mid lane, technically. Mid joy. That's that's exactly what we're trying to get to here. But Sanford, once again, he's going to get oh boy, he's going to get the die off one more time. We're seeing the Beatrix coming up from Benny QT. Right now, based on what we're seeing, it's going to be a little difficult to catch Benny QT. But now that you have Joy, probably going to take the Vengeance, run up right into his face. He's got to be really careful when he uses those ultimates. I, I bet this might be a glue support. You know, oh. we've seen it before. No, glue support and you have Joy on the side, which is not really afraid of Dairoth. I mean, and you can take the Farah Miss Mid. So that might be a viable option, because right now if Google decide, we're going to see the same story happening yeah. from last game again, where the Dyros is going to come to the lane. Here we go, the last pick. Whoa. Oh, Mathilda. Huh. Okay, so Joy Jungle. Joy right? Jungle, yeah. You Ooh, absolutely boy. Play. All right, all right, look, I have no doubt. The fact that it is Kyrie playing it, Ooh. he's going to make something happen. He has to make something work. But this is going to be quite the battle, as Echo currently on match point. They need to win this to move on to the next stage. And unfortunately for Onyx, they need to win this game to stay in this best of five and try and contest them. I don't know about you guys, but I am hella excited to be jumping in towards the land of dawn. It is game number four here with two teams looking to be the best that we have ever seen coming out from an M series. Oh, I can hear the fan yelling from the stage. That's outside, <laughs> too. The, I know, from the stage. I mean. He's so excited for Echo. That was exciting. This is Echo's match point. Onyx have to put everything they have on the table. All right, here it is. The Land of Dawn revealed once more. We're jumping right into the action. Hold your horses, pull up your pants, get your popcorn. You cannot blink. Do not miss a second of the action. Onik on the red side, and it's going to be Echo on the blue. Ooh, right off the bat, it seems like Echo started from the red, and Kyrie. Onik is going to start from the blue. A complete mirror matchup. That means they will meet. We might have to see a little uh, early, early class at the Lethal Wonder. Here we Already go, in the mid lane. A little poke back and forth between Yowie. the two. Yowie could be in trouble here. That's quite a bit of poke. Oh, just barely able to survive. And notice too, you know, Dave, hold on. Ooh. Same thing in the bottom side. Flicker out from Sanford. Boots, not going to be able to get the first blood this game. Yep, see, that's what we're talking about. That level one, again, level one was extremely important, but as soon as Boots is able to get that level two, instantly, the way, it, it just changes, right? Sanford had to flicker out of there, and the same goes for Boots. So the laning phase, now a little compromised. We might have to see Sanford get a little bit of help, because now we're expecting Boots to play a lot more passively and say, hey, I'll only push when necessary. Yeah, one thing I love, too, I mean, you're already seeing it, right? The, uh, the mobility here from Onik Esports, the ability to move around with this Matilda pick. You have that Guiding Wind, you have that Circling Eagle. And even on top of that, I mean, you kind of extend the fights with Sans here on this uh, Fair Miss this time. I like what Onik Esports decided to draft. Now, how will that develop as the game goes on? You know, that's the big question here. Oh, uh, here we go. On the bottom side, it's just trade. It's even so far. I'm actually surprised because I expect Dairos to be winning the lane. 
but it seemed like Boots is having the upper hand, and now is Choi oh, making the wait, first move. Bottom, bottom side, we gotta get a look here. Sanford getting chunked quite low. Oh. Gonna be taken down! Boots able to get the first blood this time, but now Ooh. Carl Teasy paying back as Sanji grabs the kill. But now Turtle gonna be up here. Both teams trying to get in position. Carl TZ, full health, quite healthy, gets the taunt, the knockup, gets two flickers. Yaoi now looking for a moment, holding on to the way of the dragon. There we go. Both older are gonna come out, it's gonna come down to the retribution battle. Who grabs it? It's Carl TZ. And now Keyboy the focus. He gets out with the guy he won, but what a flicker! Yaoi has to retreat. Sanji there to back him up. And just like that, Echo Philippines grabbing the objective. What a chain of events there, Dave. I mean, it could have gone badly for both of these teams. Farm is holding his ult until the last second, but you gotta give it to Yaoi. He, he's done, it feels like he's played the simulation a million times. His chow kick is so on point. Even the last game, the, the last few dive at the mid lane tier one tower, when Yaoi dive into the four people, knock out four people, he kicks CW accurately, right? Just now, in the midst of everybody, he's able to find Kyrie and kick him away to make sure he doesn't retry. That, is, that takes so much accuracy. Um, he might be using the hero lock, which takes so much practice, because that is so hard. Just a thousand button on the screen you have to click. <laughs> I mean, like, how do you even do that? Well, well they're pros for a reason, Dave, right? We're, we're casters for a reason here. <laughs> but, I mean, even with that said, just the, the micro decisions from Echo Philippines really showing their strength in those fights, but still, Onik on Esports is in a good position here as Carl Tizzi going to be the focus. Kyrie using that ultimate. There's the Circleo oh. Keyboy, though. Going to get caught in a bad position. Has to have oh. the back of the teammate, but Yaoi on the hunt. Looking for it. Can't. Gets the oh. cold around. Finds on the backside. There's a kill as Keyboy falls, going to the hands of Echo Philippines. Oh, that's got to be so frustrating, and especially for Keyboy, he was baiting them into a team fight, and Onik were ready for it. But once again, we're seeing Yaoi just Ooh. just deny aggression, deny key targets that can actually slow them down. And in this case, it was supposed to be Boots. I gotta say, Onik's playing a little bit old before oh. that. Gonna focus on Carl Tz. He's quite low. There's a circuit legal. Oh. Able to punish him as Carl Tz falls. Onik Esports on the hunt for more. Even before the ultimate comes down. And the claw is getting really farmed. Just now you saw the all attack coming from CW. I wonder yep. what item he has to do so much damage already to Fredrin. Unless Fredrin is not building physical defense at all. But, but because of that team fight, now it's going to be Onik having the advantage going to the turtle. Well, again, we find ourselves in the turtle pit. The back and forth. Yaoi oh. with the blinker, the TikTok play. Gets away the dragon off. Boots goes in with the split split. Sanji's got to be careful here. Boots also still going to grab. Grab. Yaoi's in trouble. Oh. Able to survive for now. Carl T's going to get cut off. Gets the knock up there. Sanford, no. And Sanji. Certainly able to come out from Keyboy in a oh bad way. position. Can he get away? Flickers oh. out. Though, comes Kyrie. in, gets the retribution off, Ooh. and punishes Sanji on the bottom side. What an angle! Please, can we get a replay of that? Kyrie came up with a 300 IQ pathing. He, I thought he was throwing because he was letting his teammate die, but no, he found the exact pathing he wanted, and oh. now he's about to kill Sanford. Kyrie going for more. Sanford can't escape it. It's Kyrie grabbing another one. And now Carl TZ, appraiser's wrath, comes down. Oh, Keep boy. on the run. Circling Eagle, can he survive it? He's still running, Carl TZ, grabbing the kill. Turtle still up here. No one committing just yet. Holy Kyrie, just, oh my just, God. <laughs> just, oh my goodness, give me some, give me something. Just have my children, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Boost, at this point, Boost needs to step it up, right? Because he's not being as effective as a glue monster should have. You know, with the chow, you, on, on Echo side, Yao, you can kick. Who can also kind of kidnap somebody, you know? Oh, oh Kyrie, that's, the steal. that's all he has to do, Dave. Yeah. Let, Yowie, let the, Boots get there, but as long as Kyrie gets the turtles, Kyrie. it's all good. Yeah, Kyrie diff. That's the Kyrie diff we're <laughs> I, talking about. Like, is there really anything we can say? But Yowie, once There's again! No. Yowie was waving the dragon. They're looking for oh. more here. That's the Colt. Oh, they're committed. It's Keyboy that falls. Now Carl TZ still trying to zone out Kyrie here. It's Sans and Kyrie. They're going to back off for now. Happy with the kill, but look at the lead for Onik Esports. Ooh, now that is what we call the Yaoi diff, unfortunately. Both teams <laughs> have some very clear play styles overall, but the interactions, it's its so very important. Like, let's keep in mind, we I want Boots to actually be in a position where you can do something. Yeah. But to be fair, Yaoi is frustratingly making it difficult. He's interrupting yeah. his combo. Just like that again with the way of the dragon. You can't escape it as Sans falls to the midside. 
Another pickup as you were just saying it, Gideon. This no. is pissing me off now. Every time he's got his ultimate, he finds a kill. Stop it, Yaoi. Yeah, like how... The thing is, Yaoi was on the other side of the river, right? I mean, you can't prepare for that. Like a second later, he's on your face, he's kicking to, to his team, get bursted by the Beatrix, by Benny. So like, this is just way too good. That's what I was saying. Maybe like leaving one character up, don't ban, let's say, Eve and take the Chao <laughs> away. But that's like, you know, too late at this point, right? <laughs> right? Wishful thinking here Wishful at this thinking. point. Yeah. But you know, you gotta deal with it. Cho, uh, Cho in the hands of oh, Yaoi is devastating, go. and now he's gonna be looking for another side on the bottom. It comes out, Kyrie there to help out. Boots and Kyrie on the oh, bottom side. Kyrie! Bizzo Strike comes out, but they disengage as both teams were ready for that one. Okay, okay. I thought for a second there, it could have been bad. Sanford using that flicker to really displace Boots, and he wasn't able to get his kidnap going. Puts Kyrie in an awkward spot, but now CW, they broke the tier one, they've done a lane swap, and now they're trying to press their advantage. Nice, nice push here. Onyx really getting objectives. They got two towers already. If you connect the dots, the middle the tier one tower is not gonna stand for any longer, right? If this continues, once CW get those items online, he will shred the entire backline for Echo. Let's and let's take down. a turtle. Come down to another retribution battle here. Oh, he's able to secure it, but Onyx Esports, they want to fight here. Oh. They're gonna be chasing down. Flicker comes in. Boots looking to for the setup here. Can't get it. Black U's gonna come out. There's Yowie once again, but Carl TZ falls. Sanford's still alive. Look at Benny Cutie. Grabs the kill on Kyrie. But in the mid side, oh. it's Yowie running. Gets oh. dragged to his death. Ooh. Beautiful job. A beautiful job there from CW. He was standing in the perfect position, just consistently doing damage. I was saying that this is going to be the win condition for Onik. And that's exactly what happened in the last team fight. CWC on the side just throwing the all attack left and right. He got Fredrin low and he got Fredrin down. And that's exactly what we need to see more going into going further into the late game. Well, let's look at the bigger picture as well because Benny QT actually in this instant replay, hopefully we see it. Keep there your eyes on, uh, on Kyrie because Benny QT gets his alt off, sees Kyrie and has to force fight him, wow. but the rest of his team is left behind. So as soon as that kill comes through, both Sam Samford and the majority of his teammates are just way too low to re-engage into the fight. It could have been much been better from Echo had they kind of kited together, but Onik just taking full advantage of the situation. And this is the thing I want to point out regarding the Joy jungle. The ultimate damage is actually not that high. Look at how much damage he's taken, right? And that's why Joy needs Vengeance, because oh. he can go and take the shield, but before that... Sandwich here we go. Play in the bottom side. Oh. Everybody here from Onyx Esports, they're trying to catch Benny Cutie. They're looking for it. Blazing do oh. it. And Sand getting the killing spree. And they're making a pay as Sandy on the run here. Four versus one. He falls. And now Carl Teasy, a little bit too late to the party. <laughs> Sanford now to oh. help them out. Oh. Onyx Esports got to be oh. careful on this one. CW goes down. Now it's Sanford versus three. Still gonna be going at it, it's too much oh. damage as Sand takes him down. Carl Teasy still here. Simply Eel come out. One versus three, can he do it? It's gonna be a long <laughs> battle as he just heals up. Chad walks away, that's one knock up. Yaoi now joining the party. Still gonna be going away of the dragon. Oh. Telling them, guys, that's enough. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Whoa, what a sequence of events. It, honestly, it feels like Kyrie dies when he wants to die. It's like, <laughs> I have to give up my life. If not, Benny QT isn't going to commit to this. Yeah, let's take a look. And this is what I was talking about. Oh, whoa. Kyrie, at this point, Kyrie cannot go in by himself to the back line. This character gets straight up, Joy is a character gets straight up countered by Beatrix, right? When you don't have Vengeance, he just one shots you. Look at Beatrix's item. This guy is decked out. He's in a two shot, and that's what we saw in the last fight. Here we go again. Oh, Yawi again with Wave the Dragon looking for it. The Cold Ultra comes down. Blazing do it from CW. Gonna push down Echo. Will he? Double kill for Sands. Sandy on the run here, and it's a one oh. for Onyx Esports. Everybody's feeling it, and Carl TZ to retreat. Oh, this game is so hot. Previously, it was Echo who had the decisive draft. Now it is Onik taking full control over this game and are running it down all the way to the inhibitor. Yaoi, what can he really do? He's not able to initiate for a seed oh. no longer. The Eagle's gonna commit. They do get the mid turret here. Onik Philippines in Onik Esports in the driver's seat. Absolutely. Now with the Lord coming down, they got the mid high ground tower without even having the help of the Lord. Now the bottom side, 
the minion, super minion comes in. All the high ground towers gonna be taken down. I think at this round. Look at the top dive. Oh, they're still gonna have to work on it. Lord top side. On esports going in. Oh, go. Go. The way the dragon circling you to follow up. Still holding oh. on to it. It's boots that gets punished. The drag comes out from the Are stand. He's Benny Cutie unleashing here. Woo. Yaoi has the immortality. Right now, they're going to go ahead and retreat for Onik Esports. Oh boy. Oh boy. Samford, he's really deadly with that ultimate, man. I mean, as soon as he is able to connect onto multiple targets, and especially if it even touches CW, even just a little bit, he's immediately flickering on top of it to make sure that his Abyssal Strike is not going to miss. And he follows up so fast. Onik. You gotta be a little careful about this. CW, he has to watch his positioning. Oh, oh God. Oh, again, no. Yahoo with the way of the dragon. Take it out, Keyboy. Just like that. I go, Philippines gonna be marching down the mid lane here. They grab the tier one. Sans, though. Oh, you oh, have to think twice about that one. Yeah, you don't wanna dive onto that. That's gonna one shot. Sans is doing a fantastic job. He's 6 1 and 3. He has about a 1,500 gold ahead of his counterpart. This guy is popping off. At this point, it's, uh, it's about Sans comboing with CW diving, uh, as well as his Kairi. His Kairi cannot do it by himself. He didn't have the Vengeance, have the Retribution. Oh, look at the damage already. Is Kairi building tank? Did you notice the item? Oh, well, I think the first two items was the Genius one into the Holy Crystal, so now he's probably going to... I'm guessing that he's probably going to build into full tank from this stage onward, yeah. like most Joy players would, because again, Benny QT is just <laughs> chucking him, him down. Yeah. Like, and sometimes you even see Benny QT hiding in brushes with Wesker, the shotgun version variant, and just blowing him out of the water. Yeah, but going to the late game though, even though it's only 3,000 gold differences, but look at the map, right? It's looking red all over the place. Onik, I was saying that they got the mid high tower without the Lord's help, but they actually took a step too aggressive, right? Bit up a little bit more than what they can chew. You know, this is the ice bigger than the stomach kind of story. What they need to do is really calm down and get ready for the, sink the wave up and get ready for the tower cleanup. Now just now though, you have to give credit to Yaoi. That was a beautiful engagement the boost that started everything, you know? Yeah, I mean, at this point though, Honic, all they have to do is just wait for this next Lord. Yeah. They have a huge map advantage, like you mentioned, and they've got this massive lead. Neko just trying to get back into this game at this point. How do they, uh, I'm trying to figure out how Echo is supposed yeah, we, to get back into this game because now it's like, if they could just stall this Lord a little bit longer, they're almost at the 42k mark. Right now, Onyx is going to go ahead and work on the, the Lord here. Carl TZ looking for an angle oh. if he can get one. It's going to be the Lord Dance, Yaoi. Not going to be able to find the way of the Dragon he wants to. Lord still juggled around. Oh, CW! Onyx, look at Kyrie though, it goes in! That's the way of the Dragon! The Flicker comes out! Boots is getting chucked quite low! Kyrie's still gonna work on the Lord here. He wants to grab it. Carl TZ waiting for the moment as well. They're gonna zone him out the best they can. Sanji trying to unleash him. Oh. CW's gonna fall. The red streak comes oh. down, and it's secured by Kyrie. As he falls in the keyboard down. Kyrie though, saving grace. Oh Lord. I think that's the first time we've, we've ever seen both Echo and Onik both pause for a second, unsure what to do next. Do I take Lord? Do we fight? And unfortunately for Onyx, Echo pushing it in. Oh, oh on the mid side, there's the way of the dragon as he falls. Boots is down, the Lord is up though. Sanford quite low here, Sans and Kyrie. How are we gonna go back into the jungle? Can they buy more time? Oh, oh Sanford oh. on the run oh. from Kyrie as he oh. shut down Sans as well. Benny Cutie still going. Now the focus here on Kyrie. Gets to the second tier turret and backs off for now, but bought enough time for Onik Esports to stay in it. Oh no, Kyrie, he's just messing with them right now. Are they, is, okay, okay. And they, Onik, at the very least, are in a position where, yes, I don't have my mid turret. Echo don't have that mid turret. But Echo isn't even falling for those simple traps. No, I'm not gonna chase you across the map. I remember what happened the last time. We have adapted and we are learning. So both sides are just elevating based on what they are seeing from the gameplay of their opponents. So it's a game of rock, paper, scissors. When do you go too far? I, I feel like Onyx playing with their hands behind their backs in the, at this point. You know, like they have a full dive comp and they, they're win condition to kill Benny, right? Like if they kill Benny, they got this game. I mean, yes, Yaoi's making making stuff happen. Yes, Kyle TZ is crazy, but at the same time, the win condition for Echo is just the Benny. If Benny dies, the entire Echo lose their damage source. 
but they're not doing that. It, it feels like they go in and kind of come back and kind of gauge, right? Go back in again. And during that thinking process, then he sniped your backline, right? And killed everybody else. Well, right now, Ana going to focus on the top side. They still want to get this inhibitor turret down. They're working with the mid. Black Shoes used. Still a stalemate here, as I think it's just going to come down to another Lord unless Onik Esports can press the issue here. Yeah, both teams are like dead even. It's 16 to 14 so far, <sighs> and the goal lead is so minimal. It just does not matter. It comes down to that execution. If you're looking, if you're in Yawi's position, I'm guessing he's looking for CW, but CW waits, waits oh. so patiently. Here we go. He's going to come in. They're quite low. They get the black shoes out from Sanji. Still holding on here. Onik pressing it out. They get the flicker. Echo Philippines still holding on to this top turret. Wow, what a defense over there. You know, I thought CW wanted to get this tower, and it seems like Ana doing everything right, right? They sink the wave up, they try to get a high ground tower, but I gotta say, RTZ just is a wall. He stands over there like, you shall not pass. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, yeah, CW did not pass. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> it's just, uh, they literally cannot. I mean, Based on what we're seeing, like, CW is able to keep down Carty's Wait, this is good seal play. This is not looking good. Yeah, oh, Echo, they're gonna find boots here. There's the way the Dragon Sands oh. comes in to help him out, but it's too late. Yowie gets the kill, and now Sands on the run. Flicker comes out as well. Echo on the hunt. Sands does fall. Benny Cutie's gonna flicker in, looking for more. And they're gonna make a beeline to the Lord. Wow. I, I'm nervous right now because this, there's multiple decisions that could be made. They could delay this. Oh, oh they're going in! Keyboy does go in with the circling eel. Kyrie getting oh. a position. Benny Q to gonna take out Keyboy. Onik has to be careful how they approach this one. Lord gonna be Oy. one of fourth health here. Benny Cutie though had to use that wind of nature. CW oh, still looking for a moment. Oh. oh, comes in the juke from CW in a massive play. Oh. But the Colt Ulster comes down. Benny Cutie unleashing. Immortality gonna be popped. Goes another one. Boots a little bit too late as Echo marches into the base of Onik Esports. Looking oh. to end the game here. Can they do it? Kyrie's alive. Still trying to hold on. Keyboy here now too. On it. Can they stay in the game? Flicker's gonna Benny. come out here. They find Benny. Looking for a kill. Keyboy there on the back side. Still up. In a couple seconds, Sands will be up when the storm is too strong. Keyboy and Boots holding on for their life. Here comes Sands. And Yowie's low. God. Oh my god. They're still alive. They're still in it. Four people alive. Kyrie's missing Echo. 100% want this Lord. With this Lord, they can secure the game already. Push out those outer tier charts. They don't care anymore because Onik is at a disadvantage. There's nothing Onik can do about it. They just have to back off, wait for Kyrie to come back up. They gotta figure this out right now because Echo's team fighting is looking immaculate. It feels so difficult to actually get in on it, especially once the chaos ensues. Oh my god. Isn't your head hurts watching the last team fight? <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, I know it's hurting mine for sure. <laughs> it just feels like everybody's fully gold right now. Let's compare how many immortality that we have. On Echo side, we have three, four immortalities. Meanwhile, for Team Onik, we don't have a singular one that's standing at this point. I mean, that is gonna make a, such a huge difference at the next dive, because immortality is what decides the late game team fights. On top of the fact that Echo does have the Lord charging to the base, uh, this is uh, looking scary, dude. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna see any longer games. Oh, Sanford. Hi. Sanford, Buddy. Dude, come down. But oh. again, Onyx gotta hold on here. This is Lord it. mid side. This is gonna be crucial for them. Can they do it again? Sanford quite low, still has the immortality as well. Kyrie trying to defend that bottom side. Oh. They come in. Yowie goes in with the play. Can't connect. Oh. Sanford finds boots. Circling you on the backside. Benny Cutie still up. Blazing to it from CW. Oh, yeah. no. Behind Sanford. But it's not gonna be enough just yet. As Sands falls. Oh. Benny oh. Cutie, the storm, is unleashing onto the base. Another flicker gonna come out. The minion waves are up. It's only Sanji, Benny Cutie, and Carl Teasy. 
Kyrie and T-Boy, can they stay in this game again? Oh. They're gonna have their work cut out for them. Volatility at its best. Here comes Sands, pushing the situation. Onyx still holding oh. on. They're working on the base, and that's gonna be it. Echo sends Onyx to the lower brackets in a three to one victory. Oh my goodness, what a sequence of events. What an intense game. This is this is beyond me at this point. Oh. These players are playing with their absolute hearts out, not holding a single punch back. GG, well played to Echo. What a play from Echo. You can see the management team, the players, and their cheerleaders. They're excited, we're excited. What a game. Truly a beautiful game here. This is why we love Mobile Legends. But this is why Leo was almost right, just flipped on the opposite end. Echo, well done. Tace, Echo's full strength. Echo advances into the top three. Wow. Analysts, please take this one away because these boys well deserve. Break it down for us.